Coming out of school, I uh, went to work for a CPA firm, uh, Coopers and Library, mm -hmm. got my CPA. Uh, so all was kind of lining up. Um, but uh, after a couple of years uh, in the accounting field, I, one, I learned a lot, I learned a lot about business. But, you know, for me, I always, because my father was in business and I was seeing businesses around me, I always yearned to know more about, you know, what makes one person or one company successful in business while another one fails? So what really differentiates business success from business failure? So uh, I really, you know, that was something I really wanted to know more about and to um, uh, just, you know, learn more about and to, and to really kind of come up with the formula. Um, so at the time, also in New York City, um, as I was uh, entering into my um, uh, second year at, at Cooper's and Library, and a group of friends of mine and I, I, I uh, started a magazine. Okay. Uh, the name of it was Urban Profile Magazine. Um, this magazine, this is right during the time of the Bernie Getz shooting. What year is this? This Late is uh, 1987. Okay. Uh, so this is the Bernie Getz shooting. For those who don't know, it's kind of like preceded Central Park Five. It was a guy on a subway three young African-American African men approach him. He just takes out his gun and shoots them. Uh, he goes to trial and he gets off, basically. So New Yorkers were talking about it. Um, and at the time, there's no internet. There's no way to really voice your opinion about anything. And we were all sitting around, kind of having a living room conversation. And we were like, man, like our voice just you know, can't get heard. Like, how are we going to get our voice heard? Um, and at the time, a good friend of mine, Keith Cleanscales, was very handy with technology. He, had, he was the first one we knew that had a Mac. And he was like, we should do a magazine. And literally that night, we started, he started laying out a magazine. We started pulling together articles. And about three months later, we had a magazine. It was that simple. Pretty much that simple. Really? That simple. We all like pitched in. At that time, it was like $200 each. And we were off and running. A lot of things fell into place, went to the printer. The guy at the printer was like, um, hey, I just happen to have extra paper, so you don't have to pay for the paper. <laughs> so our first issue, you know, we, we, we uh, printed it for barely anything, and we still didn't really have en enough money, so we did what anybody does when they're trying to raise money. We threw a big party. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, at the time, the party was great. We signed up, like, over 1,000 subscribers at that party, and we launched a magazine with close to, like, 10,000 subscribers. Are you serious? Yes. Oh my goodness. Yeah. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.